what's happening. I'm getting out of this chair and walking. How? Greg's so messed up about Sean, he won't operate on anyone, especially you. Greg, it's working. Basic intakes, evaluation. Huh? That's all. Well, I have a medical degree. I might as well be useful. Well, you could be more than that. This is what I can do for now. It's not enough. I have patience to see. Not until you help us. My mother is a wreck, and I don't know what to do. Well, what's wrong? Matthew isn't backing down. He's going to have the surgery. So tell her I won't operate on him. She knows that. Greg, that's the problem. Matthew won the right to have the surgery. The ruling didn't say that you had to be the surgeon. All it says is that he doesn't need his parents' permission. You'd let another doctor operate on you? Sure, why not? Because it's dangerous, and they can make you worse. What else am I supposed to do? I can't wait for Greg forever. He chickened out on me. Just give him a little more time. He'll come around. I'm sorry. I'm glad you can say those words now, but they're not the answer to everything. But Matthew is not my patient. You're the one who gave him hope. I'm not operating again, Rachel. Not on Matthew, not on anyone. Look, I understand how you felt after Sean's surgery. You didn't want to risk Matthew, and I respected that. Thank you. But you're not protecting him now by saying no. Matthew is determined to have the surgery. He's going to find a doctor, and I know there's no way that doctor's going to be anywhere near as good as you. If you say no now, you're risking Matthew's life. How long am I supposed to wait for Greg? A week? A month? Every day I sit in this chair, I don't use my muscles, and I get weaker. You don't know that. Your brother Greg's the one who told me that. The sooner I get my surgery, the greater my chances are of walking again. Not if you let just anyone cut on you. I did a bunch of research online, and I found a great neurosurgeon. I talked to him this morning, and he's coming to examine me. Bad idea, Matthew. Very bad idea. I'm not the only doctor on Earth who can do Matthew's surgery. You sure made it sound that way. Yeah? Well, I'm pretty arrogant, didn't you hear? Hey! I also heard a lot of happy patients. People who can walk now because of you. Yeah, well, there's someone else you should check in with. Fourth floor ICU, the name's Sean. He didn't have anything nice to say about my skills. Greg. In fact, he hasn't said anything at all since I operated on him. That was different. No. That was me in all my glory. I can do nothing wrong. Take a bullet out of my brother's brain? No problem. I'm the greatest. That's what I told my family. Hell, that's what I told the world. I can heal anyone. Does this make you feel good? Because it's really not helping anybody. It's the best that I've got, Rach. And you're right. It wouldn't help your little brother one bit. But I'm being the best doctor I can be right now. I just got to get back to the beginning to get it right this time. Number one rule in medicine. First, do no harm. Accident victim on the way in. Head in spinal cord trauma. Will you consult? So you found a doctor to come here today. Pretty good luck, huh? You think? Yeah. I know how long the waiting list could be for someone who's really good. Then how good can this guy be? It was a fluke. He's at this conference now and he has a free afternoon. Maybe it's just fate. Or a big fat mistake. Thanks for the support, Des. I have to go. I have an appointment.